Let's look at some binary representation of numerical data. Now, digital words can represent numerical data. Consider the value base 10 number 743.2. It's con it consists of seven one hundreds plus four tens plus three ones plus two tenths. The base 2 number 1101.1 is interpreted as 1 2 to the third, which is uh, 8. So 1 8, 1 4, 0 twos, 1 1, and 1 1 half. And when we add that up, we arrive at 13.5, which is its equivalent in base 10. So therefore, 1,101.1 base 2 is equal to 13.5 base 10. With three bits, or three binary digits, so we use the word bits uh, for uh, a digit for base 2, or digital values, we can form 2 to the third, or eight distinct words. These words represent the decimal digits 0 through 7, and they are 000, 001, on up to 111. Now how do we convert between different number bases? Here we're going to look uh, at decimal to binary. So let's convert 343 base 10 to binary. Here's how you do it. You take 343 and you divide it by 2. That gives you 171, and you have a remainder of 1. You then take 171, divide it by 2, arriving at 85. Again, remainder of 1. Take 85, divide it by 2, you arrive at 42 with remainder of 1. And you continue this process until we arrive at 2. We divide 2 by 2, and that uh, has a quotient of 1, and the remainder is 0. We take our quotient 1, divide it by 2, and that gives us 0 with the remainder of 1. And when our quotient reaches 0, we stop. And the binary value for our decimal number can be read out then by taking all of the remainders, beginning with the most significant bit down at the bottom and moving up to the least significant bit at the top. And so 343 base 10 is equivalent to 10101011 base 2. Now let's convert the decimal fraction, 0.392 base 10, to its closest 6-bit binary equivalent. In this case, we're not going to divide our decimal value by 2's repeatedly, but we're going to multiply it by 2 repeatedly. So we take 0.392, we multiply it by 2, that gives us 0 plus the fractional portion, point, or decimal portion, 0.784. Take 0.784, we double that again, and that gives us 1.568. Put the 1 on the left, and we um, uh, then add the 0.568 on the right. We're going to double 0.568, that gives us 1.136. We take the 0.136, double that again, and we continue this process. And the decimal equivalent in binary then is 0 point, and then you read from the top down, which would be 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, and then we could continue. Now, if we're going to convert the decimal value, 343.392 base 10, to binary, we would take the two uh, previous steps and then combine them together. We saw that 343 base 10 is equal to 10101011 base 2, and we saw that the fractional portion, 0.392 base 10, was approximately 0 0.011001. So we combine these together, and we arrive at our binary approximation for 343.392. Binary arithmetic. So we can add binary numbers. So the rules for binary addition is that 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0 but with a carry of 1. That's the same as say 9 plus 9 um, is 
uh, well, that'd be the same, let's say, as 9 plus 1 is 10, or we say 0 with the carry of 1. And then lastly, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to a sum of 1 with a carry of 1. So let's add 1,000.111 and 1,100.011. We line up the, uh, the corresponding place value uh, for each number, and we just add them starting from the right. And I won't go through the, the process. This is just like regular arithmetic, but the thing we have to remember is whenever we do a 1 plus 1, we don't get 2. We get 0 with the carry of 1. Now, binary numbers are inconvenient for humans as they require many bits to write large numbers or fractions uh, to a high degree of precision. And so we're going to use hexadecimal or base 16 or octal base 8 numbers uh, to help us out. And we use base 16 and base 8 because they can easily be converted to and from binary format just by inspection. So here are the octal numbers we have on the right. Um, would correspond to the digits 0 through 7, and it's uh, binary-wise, it's equivalent to uh, 0, 0, 0 up through 1, 1, 1. For the hexadecimal uh, base, we have the digits 0 through 9, and then we need an additional uh, 6, so we add the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F, and that can be represented as a binary, as a four-digit binary number. So there are 16 digits. Recall that 2 to the 4 is 16, so we, we need 4 binary digits to represent a base 16 number. So here's how we convert from uh, octal or hex to binary. Let's convert 313.2 um, octal base to binary. What we do is we take indivi each individual octal digit and we convert it to its equivalent 3-bit value. So starting with the most significant digit, which is 3, we convert that to binary, which is a 0, 1, 1. We then convert the 1 to 0, 0, 1, convert the 3 to 0, 1, 1, and then we convert dot point 0.2 to point 0, 1, 0. And then last, I just show you put those all together, not showing the distinction between each, each uh, uh, triplet of, of bits. Let's take the number F3A.2 base 16 and convert it to binary. Here we do the same thing. We take, take each, uh, each digit in the base 16 number and convert it to its equivalent four digit binary value. So F is equivalent to 1111 binary wise and uh, then 3 is 0011 and so forth and you put them all together. If you were doing the reverse, you would take a binary value, and if you're converting to hexadecimal, you simply would separate, or you'd group the binary digits in groups of four, and then each group of four would be converted to its equivalent hexadecimal value. If we want to convert, um, I guess, okay, I jumped ahead, so here's how we convert binary to octal. We're going to just separate the binary digits in groups of three and then convert each group of three uh, binary digits into its corresponding octal value. Same thing for the hexadecimal except we'll group it in uh, four digits of binary. Okay, converting hexadecimal or octal numbers to decimal numbers. So just as we have in base 10, the place values of 1, 10, 100, 1000, there's an order of magnitude factor of 10 for each adjacent uh, digit. In the base 16 system, we have powers of 16. So, for the, so we'll have 15, which is f, times 16 squared, plus 3 times 16 to the first, plus a is, is 10 in decimal, times 16 to the 0, which is 1, and then 2, times 16 to the minus 1, and we add those up to arrive at our decimal equivalent. For octal numbers, the, uh, it's, it's powers of 8, so we're going to do the most significant digit, which is the third place, so we'll have 3 times 8 to the squared, um, plus 6 times 8 
to the first plus 6 times 8 to the 0. So we have 1s, 8s, 16s, uh, and then we have 4 1-8s. And lastly, uh, this is kind of off the beaten path a little bit, but you might come across what's called binary coded decimal format. And here, uh, this, is con this is useful not for doing arithmetic type typically, but it's when you have uh, decimal displays, so it's like seven segment displays, any kind of display that would um, be generating, it uses seven LED segments or uh, LCD segments to be able to make the, the numbers zero through nine. And in that case, what you do is you take, uh, if you start off, you want to display 93.2, you would take each individual decimal digit, so the nine, the three, and the two, and you would convert it to a four-digit binary number. And, and actually, that is convenient for some hardware that is trying to implement, um, basically, an LCD display. The, the difference here is that if we were to convert 93.2 decimal to regular binary, we would not arrive at the 1000 or 1001001 dot. We would have uh, this value here, 10111. Zero 01. So uh, if you go back and uh, apply the, uh, the method that we used to get to the binary value, right, where we took 93, we divided it by 2, took the quotient and the remainder, and so forth, we would arrive at, at this value.